how and why to install the WebEx productivity tools. I love WebEx, but I love the WebEx productivity tools even more. With one click, you can instantly be sharing your screen or collaborating on a live document with anyone, whether you're in Outlook, or any of the Office applications, or Instant Message, or IBM Lotus Notes, getting into a WebEx meeting is literally seconds away and a single click. So if you are in any of the Office applications that you see on the upper right portion of the screen, you will see the two WebEx productivity tools up in the ribbon on the right-hand side of your screen. One will be to share this file. The other is to actually get into a WebEx meeting where you can start it now or you can schedule it or you can do a number of the other things that are shown here. It's easy and fast to get into these meetings. If you are in Outlook, it's equally as fast. I want to show you just how easy it is to use the WebEx productivity tools in Outlook to schedule your recurring meeting. Here's how you do it. You open up a calendar invitation. You put the subject of the meeting in and you put in that it's going to be held on WebEx. You also need to fill in all the details of the meeting before we click on adding the WebEx meeting. So let's fill in the details. Let's say that we have it every Monday and that goes from 10 o'clock to 10.30 a mountain time. And so here's 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. It will automatically accommodate across those time zones. Then you want to set up the recurrence of this meeting. It's going to be every Monday, and we'll make that through the end of December. So I'm going to click on the recurrence menu. It opens up an appointment schedule here for us to verify. Again, the start and end times, it's 30 minutes long. We want it to occur weekly on Monday. That's checkmarked automatically. And we want this series to start now, and we want it to continue through the end of the year. Just click through the calendar, find the last uh, week of the month of December, and then click OK. This is going to lock in the date and time of the recurring meeting. Notice you have a special note here that says, occurs every Monday, effective 8-5 to 12-30, 2013, from 10 to 10.30 a.m. That would be in this time zone. A couple more things that we want to do. That is to invite the attendees, so you just click on it, put their names on it, just as if you are uh, addressing a normal email. And then you also want to add that WebEx meeting. Now that all the other details are complete, we're going to go ahead and click on Add the WebEx meeting. It is communicating with the server. When you do the install, it's going to ask you for some connection information here. So here's what you do. The meeting template. Well, remember when we created that 4-H opening template and, I, and we saved it as a template? Here it is. You just go in and find it. This, when we open our meeting, is going to automatically load your 4-H opening slides ready for your team to collaborate on. We also want to give this meeting some kind of a password, and then we want to just click OK. Notice that it doesn't show the WebEx just yet. It won't show it until you actually send it. If you don't remember if you scheduled the meeting, look up here. We don't want to cancel it so we know that it was scheduled. So just click on Send, and the meeting goes away and creates a calendar invitation. Here is one other really cool thing about the WebEx invitation and these productivity tools. When you look at your own calendar event for that day, this is the one that's actually in your Outlook, it will tell you how to start the session. You've got to go here, and you've got to log on, and you've got to click Start and Other Steps. When you are an attendee, you will have different directions here. WebEx will automatically send the proper invitation to the proper people. So you, you never want to send them your invitation because that's not going to get them in. You want to make sure they get their own invitation or send an attendee invitation to yourself. So where can you get your productivity tools? Log on to your host login to WebEx on your WebEx service site. That's the one that has your company name .webex.com. Put your host login in, and then on the menus on the left, click on the support tab. Once that is open, you will see the downloads. Click on that, and you'll find the WebEx productivity tools right here. You have to be logged on to download it. 
you can't download it from somebody else's site because it needs to be compatible with the exact version that you are using of WebEx. So just click here and just follow the installation directions and you're on your way. You're going to love the WebEx productivity tools. So let's just recap those steps so that you can install your own WebEx productivity tools. First, go to your WebEx hosting site. Normally it is your company name.webex.com. You've got to log on with your name and password. Then click on the support menu on the left. When that opens, click on downloads. When that opens, then scroll down the screen and find the productivity tools. They are the last ones that are available on that screen. Go ahead and follow the prompts and get those tools installed. You will find these wonderful in helping you to be more productive with other people that are in distant spots. This is Dr. Jacqueline Costner. Thank you.